In this particular video, we're going to be talking about order of operations. And if you're in Virginia, that's a SOL 5.7. Now, order of operations is a particular way of solving problems, going through step by step. And it, uh, a lot of times it's not going straight across, because if you do that, you may come up with the wrong answer. And so to help us out, we have a checklist that we we use it's called PEMDAS a good way to remember that is please excuse my dear aunt Sally and each one of these letters stands for something different that you would solve in the problem so the P stands for parentheses and sometimes in a problem as we'll see here in a minute we'll have some numbers that are in parentheses and when you see those you need to solve those first. The next one is for exponents and an exponent is a number such as like we have this 3 and then we have this little number up here um, and so this number is 3 to the second power we'd multiply it 3 times 3. We don't see a lot of exponents um, but if you do then you'd solve those second and then we're going to multiply or divide and you do those in either order. You go from left to right in order to solve that. So you could divide first and then multiply, or multiply and then divide, as long as you're moving across from left to right in this direction. And then the, the last two are we're going to add and subtract. And again, you do those in either order. You can add first and then subtract, or subtract and then add, as long as you're going from left to right. So let's take a look at how this uh, this boils down as we solve some problems. So we have this big long problem here. Probably should have started with something smaller, but we'll go with it. We have 3 plus 6 times 4 plus... Th I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me start over. We have 3 plus 6 times 5 plus 4 in parentheses divided by 3 minus 7. So let me... Um, one thing we should always do is do our checklist. So we're going to put P E D M A S. All right, and that that helps us to remember the order to do these things in. So if we look at our problem, three plus six times five plus four in parentheses divided by three minus seven. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve the problem in parentheses. So five plus four is in parentheses. And we're going to add those together, and that's going to be 9. So now our problem is 3 plus 6 times 9 divided by 3 minus 7. Okay, we don't have any exponents, so the next thing we're going to do is we're either going to divide or multiply going from left to right. So as I look at this, going from left to right, the first thing I see is that we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply 6 times 9, which gives us 54. Okay, so we rewrite the problem. 3 plus 54 divided by 3 minus 7. All right, still going. We're going to divide next. So 54 divided by 3 is 18. 3 goes into 5 one time with a remainder of 2. Bring down the 4. 3 goes into 24 eight times, so we get 18. So now we have 3 plus 18 minus 7 and now we're going to add and subtract and just move left to right 3 plus 18 gives us 21 21 minus 7 and then our answer 21 minus 7 would be 14 so our answer to this problem after we do all of those steps and you do need to show your work is 14 all right let's do another one here we go we we have 9 minus 5 divided by 8 minus 3 in parentheses times 2 plus 6. So of course I'm going to put my checklist over here. P E D please excuse. Oh well I guess I messed it up. I put it in the wrong order. But you get the idea. Alright so the first thing we're going to do here is that's right we're going to do the parentheses. 8 minus 3 gives us 5. So I'm going to rewrite 9 minus 5 divided by 5 times 2 plus 6. And again, you do need to write it out and show your work. This will help you avoid making any mistakes. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply and divide. 
going from left to right. So the first thing I see here is 5 divided by 5. So that's 1. So we now we have 9 minus 1 times 2 plus 6. Okay, and now we're going to multiply. So that's 2. So now we have 9 minus 2 plus 6. Now we go from left to right with addition and subtraction. 9 minus 2 is 7 plus 6. And that gives us the answer of 13. Again, and you saw how we did the parentheses first, and then we did our multiplication and division, followed by our addition and subtraction. We always went from left to right. All right, I think I have one more to show you. Uh, and this time it is 9 plus 6 times 8 minus 5. So, again, we're going to write out our checklist. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Got it right that time. All right, so of course the first thing we're going to do is let's write the parentheses. So 8 minus 5 is 3. So rewrite your problem. I guess I'm writing it backwards here. So now we have 9 plus 6 times 3. Our checklist tells us to multiply next. So 6 times 3 is 18 plus the 9. 9 plus 18 gives us 27. So our answer there is 27 okay oh looks like I have one more sorry I thought that was our last one alright again we're gonna do our checklist parentheses exponents please excuse my dear aunt Sally always remember to write that down because it's gonna be there to help guide you alright do our parentheses first 14 minus 5 is 9 over here we have 9 minus 6 is 3 put the division symbol we're going to do our multiplication and division. 9 divided by 3 is 3. There is nothing else for us to do. So our answer here is 3. And that's going to do it for order of operations. Uh, remember, you should always do the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division. Again, it doesn't matter what order you do those in, as long as you're moving from left to right. And then addition and subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And like I said, you need to always, always show your work. I know it gets a little complicated and a little bothersome having to rewrite it every time, but it will help you to avoid making any errors. Okay, best of luck to you.